We're going to have the ministerial plenary here, so I'm very happy that uh, you know that we are out in a different region other than Region Four. So this this is a nice um, thing that we're doing, you know, bringing cabinet to the out of the city, really let the people feel that you know they're part of this whole um, Ghana planning and development, you know. So, so I, I'm ready, very happy. You ready for the outreach this afternoon? Yeah, definitely. I'm going up to the um, Upper Quarantine Industrial Training Center. I love training centers. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Minister, what, what is the latest thing that um, came out of your region within the last month? My region, you mean region? So, uh, in, the, um, in the hinterland. In the hinterland. Well, I just came back from region one. I had to go and visit the coffee. I can't leave them too long. Um, I took up Mr. Bridges Singh. He is um, from the University of Guyana, a qualified agronomist and a soil scientist. So um, we went to uh, actually add some more local organic um, stuff that he actually made with local um, ingredients from here so that they can put it in each of the coffee plants to strengthen the roots. So preparing for the planting in the farms now, we, we're taking off one layer of the, of the roof. You know, it's a special um, nursery with a kind of black netty layer. So one layer is coming off so that the sun could come down so that the plants can get accustomed now to sunlight. So that when we transplant them within the next two weeks or so, they can be a little hardy, you know, okay. <laughs> and not and get such a shock. And I'm sure the um, residents of Region 1 are very appreciative of this. Man, yeah. I think with the cassava factory coming up, in um, Quibana too. When you pass Quibana, you see new farms. And in Maruka, new farms. People are actually energized, excited, and proud to be farmers now. You know, so we, we're having like an agri-revolution there, or a farming revolution <laughs> in um, the Santa Rosa, Quibana area. And um, we also, I also handed over a, a um, water pump and a black tank, of course, on behalf of the Ministry of Indigenous Peoples Affairs. And I must thank the Food for the Poor Guyana for donating the water pump. It was very, very good because because of the dry season, the people up the road in Quibana, they have to go far, the old people and everybody, <laughs> to fetch, you know. So this will be able to pump at the central area, fill the tank and get it from there. So they're, they're happy about that. We went to, to Santa Cruz. We had a four-hour meeting there because three million is in the budget for the 2019 budget for a fruit farm there. So they're farmers. They have like 10 acres, five acres, two acres of you know uh, mixed cultivation. So they're excited about going into this fruit farming that will produce um, juice for the um, for the subregion and also dried packaged fruits and things like that. So this is a value added project again, because you know fruits, you can't eat all. So you have to make all sorts of little things to put in the supermarket and brand it, package it correctly and uh, attractively.